today. Well, for the past two years, model and presenter Fiona Faulkner has been dreaming of becoming a mum. With her fiancé, Hayley, by her side, the two embarked on an IVF journey, sharing their personal struggles with thousands online. But it was all worth the wait because the star couple welcomed their son, Hunter, seven weeks ago. Now, having just flown in from meeting his grandparents for the very first time, Fiona and Hayley want all of you to meet their beautiful baby boy, too. Drum roll, please. Here are you, Fiona <laughs> Haley, and the star of the show, Hunter, ready for his close up, joins us now. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi, Hi Hunter. Hey. Seven weeks old. He is, yeah. he's our little bundle of joy. Can you believe it? How are you going? Yeah, good. A little bit sleep deprived. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we made it here in one piece. Yeah. Just. <laughs> Whether he'll stay quiet or not, that's another question. But <laughs> you've got you've got clothes yeah. on. You're yeah. Like, yeah. You're going well. <laughs> You're lucky. Really well. You're lucky we got here. <laughs> hiding vomit on my shirt. All, <laughs> all parents do. Yeah. It, it's been quite the journey, Fiona. Um, take us through it. It has. It was a great um, we I guess we went through IVF and um, that took a took a few goes and um, and now we've got our beautiful bundle mm. but you know it's worth every minute every every needle every everything to have him here definitely Hayley you, I think you summed it up nicely on your Insta you said for two years you were a dream mm. over nine months we watched you grow and in a second you stole our hearts yeah it's it's so true because it's such a tough and gruelling journey mm. that you go on through it's a roller coaster you have highs you have lows and and this one here like she was just such a warrior through it all she you know through all the needles through all the you're getting a bit teary though no <laughs> no not at all yeah, but it's just um and for all people going through ivf it's a roller coaster journey but then the second you see them and that moment he, he was put on me i literally through. it's not, not it's something i've never ever felt before seeing him for the first time was like it's a the most love beautiful thing I've ever experienced. It's you, been... you still get it, like, I do. Like, yeah, I all like the time. yeah. I yeah. Said the second I think about it, we actually recorded it and I every time I watch it back or show someone I like start crying. <laughs> <laughs> so empowering though, the, showing us your journey and taking us through the highs and lows. Um, you visited your mum in Victoria recently. She's just been moved into permanent aged care for she, Alzheimer's. How special has. was that moment to introduce Hunter it to her? It was really beautiful. We got to go home and, and spend her last Mother's Day at home with her, which was really nice. And um, she has gone into care now, which it's best for her and for my dad. It's, you know, he's been her carer for the last mm. couple of years and it's, yeah, she's where she needs to be. But it was a beautiful time for her to meet him and it really brought her back to us when we, whenever she interacted with Hunter, which was beautiful. Yeah. yeah. We, Hayley, we know the two of you, you have a podcast together, What the IVF. What the IVF. <laughs> um, on it, you, you shared that you were planning a second baby. Mm. Yeah. And now it might be your turn to carry next. Yeah, look, um, we've always been keen to have at least two, possibly three, and uh, I guess the perks of being in a same-sex relationship, we get to share the load a bit. So, um, <laughs> your turn. I'll, I'll yeah. be going second and probably start trying at the end of this year. After because, our wedding, yeah. After the wedding, because mm. we figure just get the sleepless nights out of, out of the way as fast as we can but um, wow. and get this little one a sibling, which would be nice. But, um, yeah, yeah we're, we're really excited. You just don't know what your journey is going to going to involve it's mm. it could be really hard it, it, I could fall first time it's just the, the unknown but um, I'm excited to start and mm. yeah I can't wait to grow this little family mm. of ours oh it's amazing guys um, Fiona you've spoken about I mean we've tracked your fitness journey from the very beginning <laughs> right through to now but um, you've spoken about the pressures of bouncing back after giving birth do you yeah. feel that yeah I think there's um, a lot of pressure for women after they give birth to bounce back and I think you know some women can some women do I obviously haven't but I think the focus should be definitely not so much on bouncing back but on just taking care of yourself looking after yourself mm. and and that's a hundred percent what I'm all about now it's just taking it nice and slow hang and well, hang enjoying on. it what do, you mean, what do you mean you haven't he's seven weeks old I know yeah. it's oh, no, I know, plenty I know. of time <laughs> No, I mean, I, I, like, I've got photos, but I still can look like I'm pregnant. Like, I just want to share that with other women to yeah. show them that it's normal to still kind of look pregnant after you give birth. Like, that's Abs perfectly normal. Absolutely. Like, we have just given birth to these beautiful little 
bundles of joy and um yeah yeah so I've just sort of shared that because and I think like I saw Faye struggle straight after just looking at her body with a different um set of eyes and I was like babe you just you just gave birth mm -hmm. like you know two weeks ago you looked at with your at your body with so much love because you were carrying this one and then just because you've had him you're looking at your you know, like hard eyes, and I was like, it, "It's you've just yeah, gone them. Help me realize, like it's okay. It's okay. You, to... You've just given birth, so I'm like you're not going to bounce back. <laughs> One thousand percent. Yeah. Having said that, what about returning to work? Well, I have some really exciting news. I've just become the ambassador for the Healthy Mummy, yeah. which I'm really excited to start my journey to just focusing on health and fitness. Like, I've never been someone that it's about the numbers on the scale, ever. It's more about just getting fit and strong again for this little one and and get yeah just so what is the, what is the healthy mummy what is that? oh the healthy mummy yeah. is an app yeah. and it's you know there's beautiful beautiful meals like you we just cooked one last night oh, the, so good, actually, the recipes yeah. are amazing <laughs> there's a <laughs> massive it. support network online groups with other mummies yeah it's mm. there's fitness there's it's health there's your, your mindset there's at home training all that kind of thing it's yeah it's perfect for and Hayley's actually going to jump on with the healthy mummy yeah. and, um, and do it mummies. with me I guess we've got our wedding in October, so we will both be healthy mummies. By can, the end of it. And I, can we look at this? Oh, I got so it from my good. mama's. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Obviously, Haley is the one who dresses him. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't like dressing a mini human in cute clothes? <laughs> you guys are amazing. We've enjoyed so much your journey so far, and can't wait to see the future. Thank you so much yeah, for having us. And what you. a so perfect much. little man. Oh, he behaves so well, Bubby. He did good. was on telly and he, he was just an angel. Wave, wave to Poppy and Better Nana. Better than some of those Sydney Swans <laughs> debutantes. Yeah, yeah. 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 I'm signing up to the Academy already. <laughs> <laughs> wave well to all done. the family out there that are watching. Well, coming up soon for you, what Thank happens? You